Before we start, let's talk about the rules of airsoft. First rule, during the game, each player must wear safety goggles. It is each player's responsibility to follow this rule. <laughs> Don't forget to trigger discipline. Hey! Have you got the car keys? Oh, I haven't. After being shot, each player must notify the enemy by shouting hit. Hit! It is best to act at being hit as realistically as possible. Medic! A player that is hit can wait for 5 minutes to be treated by a medic. It is only within this limited time that a medic can get to a wounded soldier. During the treatment he must stay close to him and keep the treatment time down to just 1 minute to visibly bandage the wounded soldier. The player is considered dead if not treated by a medic within 5 minutes. The dead player must mark himself with an orange head cover and goes to the respawn area. He is forbidden to reveal enemy positions. The player is considered wounded when hit anywhere but his weapon. If the weapon is hit, it is excluded from the battle until a visit to a home base or to the respawn area. During this time, the player can use a secondary weapon. The hit counts if a grenade explodes within 3 meters, but only when there's no obstruction between the explosion and the player. It is forbidden to shoot through the respawn. It is forbidden to return to the respawn for belongings. If anyone returns to the respawn, he is considered dead. You're hit! Well, we're approaching the finish. Arguments about direct shots are forbidden. The player is considered alive until he announces he has been hit. If he cheats, it is his own responsibility. What happened? Hey, you cheater! Hey, who is cheater? Why don't you call your hits, huh? Hey, you bloody cheater! Are you stupid? Can you play? Can you play fair? See? Nobody hit me. So that's it. And the last thing, the weapon must be always secured in the off zone. Yeah.